Steve, I have to confess, I was walking past here this morning and I thought, well, ooh, they've really uh, taken the easy way out of here. Simple desert scene, just nothing to it really. Till you look a bit deeper, and then there's quite a lot here, isn't there? There's a few bushes. How many? Um, about 12,000, we think, at last count. We lose a few with little fingers, but at last count, approximately 12,000 individually built and planted in individual holes. Right. Um, Simple section of track, but what, what inspired this scene that's, uh, that's well, got you so passionate? Well, the inspiration was originally, uh, if you like, a camera, uh, a camera shot taken and put in a calendar of a locomotive running through the middle of a wide expanse of desert. Uh, we liked that. We then subsequently took a visit to Barstow in California and saw exactly that picture and it was just necessary to replicate it. We just wanted to do what we'd seen and develop that sense of deep space that you can rarely find in model railways. The only way to do it, of course, was in an gauge. And what was it like going out there? Um, we were very lucky to have a week, actually, in that part of California. Uh, we were lucky also it was November. Uh, temperature in the low 70s, high 60s. Summer, it's 120 plus. Uh, on exceptional days and that would have been a very unpleasant experience for trying to research model railways. And um, Engage, what, why did you choose Engage? Because I've noticed that uh, unlike some of the other layouts here, you're not running long, long, long trains, are you? Uh, we're not running long trains, partly because the fiddle yard won't permit that in a 10-foot space and partly because we could only get that much space to actually set the layout up in a position where we could actually test it before exhibiting, because we're very determined that what we present to people will be running as perfectly as we can make it. So we won't run it unless we've had the opportunity of testing it before it actually goes out. It's really important to test. When you're saying we, you're referring to the West Sussex American group, That's aren't correct, you? yes. And well, tell me a bit about the group. Uh, the group started in approximately 2004, uh, originally consisted of myself and Nick Whitmarsh, who's the joint owner with me of Needle Sub, and Ron Carlyle, who was also very keen on American railways, and our respective partners, curiously, who were mostly interested in railways themselves. Um, we started and continue to be um, holding our club meetings in a garage, a large garage, fortunately, in Lansing, and we have members from as far afield as Chichester, and Worthing, Lansing, Shoreham, and Los Angeles and Colorado, where two of our members happen to live. Okay, um, and so uh, the result of this group is this? Is, this, is layout this layout and approximately six others to date uh, in HO and N. Uh, the, the name of the layout, just explain that to me. Needle Sub, it's, if you like, a colloquial, colloquial shortening of Needle Subdivision of the BNSF, Burlington Northern Santa Fe Railway, between Needles and Barstow in California, through the Mojave Desert. Mm -hmm.